So this is one thing we have in the office. You come in, put shorts, you know, watch a little TV, you read the uh, um, um, magazine, you listen to music, you fall asleep. It's like you know, being actually in, what is it, gym, sauna, whatever it is. You don't do any, anything, the machine will do it all for you. It will bring in the blood flow to the heart to make those small natural bypasses that the channel that we talk about, the collaterals, so it's a natural bypass without opening a chest wall. Now, FDA approved, Medicare approved, you know, for those who have angina, who have chest pain, and we know when we do the cardiac catheterization to find like a road map, and there's nothing to be angioplasty, there's nothing to be bypassed, there's nothing, and then the arteries are clogged, patient is a, is a, is a high risk, or in Long Island, there was a, um, a place in, uh, in Long Island called New York Soup Exchange. Not a stock exchange, soup exchange. So this is what we call the cabbage soup. You know, patient already uh, cooked, you know you, you know, you know, you go in the lab and you put a dye, you put them under renal failure, you know, they're not gonna come out, you know, from any invasive, you know, the risk is too prohibitive. So what I have done with those people, you know, I went out, you know, and I started first with a lady of 48 years old. This was nine, nine years ago. And she had already about 10 angioplasties, open heart surgery. She had the laser uh, surgery uh, to open holes in, in the heart to make blood flow. But she had an intractable angina every, every time she in, in the hospital, every week or so. So I heard, you know, I knew about this technology in Long Island because this was developed in China 40 years ago. But then this instrument was so big and so, you know, impractical basically to have in the office. But then they came up with this new machine that's beautiful, that's light, that's portable, and it was like magic. I said, I don't care how much it's gonna cost. I went out and got a loan. And I said, I wanna do it for my patient. And uh, that cost me, but I really believe that since then, when that lady had their chest pain gone, she was able to walk him down the aisle when she gone shopping. She was able to play with her grandson and her husband. Look at her, is this the same woman or different? So when, when, when that much tragic, you know, very impact, you know, I mean, impressive impact on, on the patients, you know, symptoms and so on and so forth, it's very, very, very impressive to the point I said, that's it. And since then, all the patients who had like first bypass closed, second bypass closed, where these people can go? They have a jhana, they can't, they can't walk, they can't have fun, they can't enjoy their life. And you've seen the, uh, the, the benefits, it's not just to the heart, but, but you've seen that it, you know, it, does, it does a lot of good to a lot of hearts, so it keeps you know, marital relationship, it keeps the marriage and the people say, Doc, thank you. My wife was thanking you. And everybody else is, you know, because it, you know, they have extra bonuses, not just to the heart for the angina, but then also, Doc, I felt my foot, I couldn't really feel my feet on the pedal because of the neuropathy and diabetes. Now, with this therapy, it really helped the blood flow and it and it's also have the, you know, sharpness of the vision, the legs feel better. You know, the, the angina is gone. It's really, it's really magical. Now, this 35 treatments, you know, Monday to Friday for seven weeks could be repeated. And we had those people who were not even considered for a transplant. They turned them down. You know, where these people gonna go? I said, you know what, I got this therapy. You wanna try it? Yes, go for it. So far, seven years out or eight years out since we have the machine and they're doing very well without open you know, heart surgery or, or, or causing damage to the kidney from the contrast because there's a lot of factors. The mechanics of doing it is not really a big deal, but what is the consequences of, of doing this procedure? At what price? So this is a great thing and, and I encourage everybody to, to look again and consider it for those who have angina on medical therapy and they're not candidates for angioplasty or bypass. Non-invasive, works beautiful. While the heart is at rest, the treatment has been played in sequence from the calves to the thighs to the buttocks. Just before the next heartbeat, all the cost It's available right to your, your, your backyard. Now we're going to shift gears to the plumbing part. This is a picture of a blockage, and you'll see it zoomed in. And you will see that we in the cath lab at Oak Hill Hospital cross 
the blockage with a tiny wire. You'll see it here in the film. And then go after that with the balloon to push the plaque aside and then a stem to come in and a scaffold the artery. And that gives you the, you know, the full flow and relief angina. The new stents that we have, the generation stents, is drug coated, so that prevents the scar tissue formation. We had in New York City deals called the full metal jacket. If you put in, you know, because <laughs> you, you, you could put in a lot of, a lot of stents, right? You know, and, and, and reconstruct the whole vessel. But usually there's a point of, of, of which where the blockage is too much and extensive. No matter, you know, stents you use, the full metal jacket doesn't last long and, and ultimately those people may need to go for bypass. So now that you learn and understand and have a clear picture about what is those you know, spider tree, you know, look like, you know, this is, the, this is your arteries, your coronary arteries. And uh, we have the main artery in there. That if that's blocked more than 50%, you need, you need to go for bypass. This is the artery in the front called LAD, left anterior descending. This is the artery in the side of the heart called circumflex artery. And there's an artery in the back of the heart called right coronary artery. And this is a real thing that we actually, hey doc, can I look in the picture? And that's what everybody said. Can I really look when they're there? <laughs> so let me look at it first, you know, and review it, and then I'll be happy to play it for you. And then Oak Hill Hospital also will give you like a, you know, a DVD um, that you can, you can play with the computer at home and show it to your family. So technology now have changed everything. And those arteries, you know, you know, I don't see you know, any, you know, blockage. You know, in the blockage, you know, it, you know, like big, fat, and skinny and fat again. That's, that's the right art, coronary artery right there in the artery in the back of the heart, you know, and it looks nice and clean. So this is an example, you know, it's like a C-shaped vessel. And this is the, the hot shot where people, lo we look at the main pumping chamber of the heart, we put in big amount of volume of dye into the ventricle and, and let it squeeze, and that gives you a, an idea about how strong the left pumping chamber of the heart is. We already talked about ECP, external counter pulsations. It's magical for what we have, and you don't have to believe me. <laughs> we have an independent, so I could be biased because I love Brooksville cardiology and then I want everybody to know, but we have miracle patients. You log on the website, Brooksville Cardiology, click on Miracle Patients, and you read each and every one file. We have them for so many number of years and so many successful graduates. When you finish, we give you a certificate that you successfully completed the ECP therapy. Okay, we're going down to the home stretch here, lipid management. And uh, we have those slides that tell you, you know, this is a clean artery, this is a little streak. You know, you keep feeding the plaque by smoking a cholesterol, you end up with blockage that will event. Anybody can tell me where this is? Georgia? Atlanta? Brooklyn? Okay. Anybody else? Any guess? Where is it? You're right. This is down downtown Cairo. This is called the Meridian Hotel. <laughs> We're living global world, guys. So everything is one click away. This hotel, the Meridian Hotel. This is the Sheraton Hotel. And this is the Cairo Symphony Opera House. And this is the planetarium. And this is another Sheraton. And this is the Nile. The Cairo School of Medicine is right there. And uh, during the you know, fifth year or so, we used to have our classrooms and OBGYN where the next speaker is looking on the fountain in the Nile. So nobody was giving attention to anything being said uh, looking at this magical view. This Meridian Hotel on the seventh floor has a lot of memories because that's where we had our honeymoon. So anyway, I'm going to stop here and I'll be happy to entertain any questions. Thank you for your attention.